Welcome to War Thunder Naval. I am Commander Tyriel, and this is IJN Yudachi, a Shiriatsu class destroyer, and one of the many unique destroyer designs found in the Japanese tech tree. Japanese destroyers are generally defined as fast, light, and maneuverable, with their main drawbacks being slow gun traverse speed, average reload time, and limited ammunition types, offset to a small degree by good accuracy and high velocity shells. As such, Japanese destroyers cannot compete in a straight gun battle against other nations' destroyers, with a few exceptions. However, this was never the intention behind their designs, and much of the difference between American and Japanese destroyers was a reflection of the different naval doctrines each nation shared. Whereas the Americans had settled on balanced designs suitable for defensive screening roles as well as torpedo attacks, the Japanese clung to torpedo attack as the primary mission for their destroyers. Without the required number of capital ships, nor the industry to produce them fast enough to match the United States, Japan would not be able to win a prolonged war with the US or engage them in large battles. To combat this disadvantage, the Imperial Japanese Navy developed a strategy in which series of mass torpedo attacks would weaken the US fleet ahead of major battles. This was called the Decisive Battle Doctrine. For this to work, a long-range stealthy torpedo would be needed. The IJN had experimented with oxygen torpedoes in the past, and the use of oxygen as an oxidizer, while very efficient, is also extremely dangerous. When war stirred in the 1930s, the Japanese Navy started development. The resulting torpedo was the Type 93 Model 1, and it entered service in 1935. The Type 93 torpedo had a diameter of 610 millimeters, was 9 meters long, and weighed 2,700 kilos. Using a pure oxygen allowed the Type 93 to effectively quintuple its efficiency, and this also greatly reduced the torpedo's bubble trail and left it virtually wakeless. Today I'm going to show you how to use this torpedo to maximum effect. These lessons can be applied to any torpedo armed ship. The Japanese Navy just excel at this form of combat. The first step is to set yourself up in a place where you know the enemy has to pass. Launching an evenly timed spread while pulling a hard left or right turn will cause all of your torpedoes to fan out on different trajectories. While you're waiting for the reload, hit reverse. Holding the same turn, do the same again. Evenly spacing the torpedo launches. If you still have some left at the end of your turn, make it an S turn and add a few more to the volley. Once completed, turn away from the direction of attack and drop smoke. Most players will ignore you once they stop getting decent hits on you. This is what it looks like from the top. If you sit on the cap point, you can continuously reload your torpedoes. Japanese torpedoes are faster than most nations, and so in situations like this, you can outrange your opponent. And here is the after effects of our triple layer of torpedoes. As you can see, they are travelling in all different directions. It makes it almost impossible for a passing fleet not to get hit. Now we are in the Shimakaze. The Shimakaze can launch all of its torpedoes at once, but I'm going to use it to do a speculative torpedo launch. I don't know anyone's coming, I'm still going to saturate this straight. Evenly timing the launches so that the volley is as straight as possible. With my remaining torpedoes, I head to the next straight. While the enemies are preoccupied, I make a quick dash out, evenly timing the launches for a completely straight volley. You'll note that launching the torpedoes slightly forward of the ship will help to straighten out the spread. Once the spread is dropped, I turn away from the combat and head back towards cover. You'll notice that a lot of Japanese destroyers have a rear turret arrangement and that lends well to this style of combat. You still have about 60% of your firepower directed 
at the threat. And here's the top view. Look how straight that is. Our earlier torpedo found a target. Our second volley found a target. That's two down. Surely this Moffat won't fall for it. Three down. And four. And my personal favorite is using them as a gigantic torpedo boat and scaring the hell out of anyone that doesn't know how to move their ship. The Type 93s are the fastest torpedo in the game bar one. And so in most times, if you launch a volley, there is nowhere they can go. This poor Moffat is panicking. He doesn't trust that I've got no more torpedoes. So I can use my accuracy just to pick out his modules. Even though he has a higher fire rate than me, by being intelligent with my shots, I can take out his teeth. Shimakaze's dispersion is horrible, so sometimes you're better off switching to the Dakar. And eventually they'll die. And this Baltimore caused me some terrible grief. So it's time to get even. In a close range torpedo fight like this, the Japanese destroyers have so many it's almost impossible to miss. Teach this little torpedo boat who's boss, hey? And as per usual, the only limiting factor is the ticket bleed. Until next time, Commander Tyrael, out.